Good morning, my fellow ARC players. This is Ty Creek Rock back for another exciting day here on the ARC Survival Evolved, the Lost Island map. This is day number 142 of our little adventure, and as you can see, I have got ghillie armor on right now. Reason being is we're going to do something a little bit risky today, I think. We're going to head up to the volcano area and see about maybe poking her head into the wyvern trench up there by the volcano and see if we might be able to score an egg today. Maybe get lucky and get an egg out of there. So we've got our ghillie on so we don't burn up. But we've got a couple of wyverns that need imprinting so we're going to have to hang around base for just a few more minutes. But I'm going to sneak up around the wyvern trench up in the volcanic area and see if we can get lucky and grab an egg. We might get real unlucky and run into a wyvern that we can't handle. Hope not, but we've got a, got a pretty good wyvern right here. We've got a 223 ice wyvern. Problem is, it's not any faster than the other wyverns out there, so we can't outrun them unless we can frost breath them. If we can frost breath the other wyverns, it'll slow them down and then we can outrun them. But that's the only way I see us being able to get away from another wyvern is just being able to frost breath him or run him into some more creatures. I'm gonna stop back here and throw off a saddle blueprint we just got into one of our vaults here. And then we're gonna check on those two baby wyverns and see if they're ready for their imprint yet. Last I checked on them, they were like 14 minutes away. And I think I'll just chuck that shotgun shell blueprint. I don't think I need that. We've got everything turned off up here. Turn on. Turn on. Let's go ahead and check on those baby wyverns. I hope they're about ready so we don't have to wait around very long. But we have been doing a bunch of Rex breeding and a bunch of Wyvern breeding and stuff, so we've been doing that while we're not been recording. I'm trying to get some much better creatures going. We've got a bunch of 160 Wyverns, which are basically just for breeding and backup. Basically for getting eggs and been using them to try to get a slightly better wyvern. We're up to a 182 now on our ice wyverns. Got this parish of theory my here. He seems to be hung up right now. That's a good place for you. You've been in my way and making a pain on fire under the building the last few days. Well, dang, I can't seem to get around this tree. Park this wyvern over here with these other ones if we can get in there. I'm trying to keep them in range of the feeding trough so I don't have to mess with them much. These are basically all 160s over here, I think. That one's just been leveled up a little bit, but they're all 160, 160 females. So if we need eggs, we can breed with these and get eggs for making kibble. And these over here are my better ones. I've got a 170 female, a 175 female, and a 181 male. We've got a 182 male over here under this thing that needs an imprint pretty soon. So we're hoping they're about ready. 182 male and a 177 female. And they're still four minutes away from needing the imprint, five minutes away. So like I said, we're gonna have to hang around here for five minutes to see if we can get that imprint. Moss Chops, are you doing all right? Got a few level ups I can throw on you, don't you? I have basically just been leveling this guy's weight and health. Using for berry harvesting. And our UDs, I need to get some more UD eggs, but this I've only got one female UD and it's still an hour away from being ready to mate again. And our Sarcos, they like a long ways been able to mate. I've got about a probably half a dozen Sarco eggs we need to be checking to see what level the sarcos are out of them. May wings can mate again in two hours, so everything's a long ways away from being ready. Let's see if we can grab a supply drop. We got like four minutes before those wyverns need imprint, so we need to hang around here for four more minutes. Right there is a supply drop. 
And then like I said, we're going to fly up to that wyvern trench up by the volcano and see if we can get lucky enough to score an egg. Maybe we'll eventually get some wyverns other than the ice ones. Let's get up in the sky and see if there's any supply drops close enough that we can actually get them while we've got time to do it. Blue one over there. Oh yeah, I seen something during the night that I've never seen before. There was a yellow supply drop right up there on the side of the mountain. I went and got the yellow supply drop and it picked it up. It had a saddle blueprint in it. What was odd about it, after I picked it up, it done the little fizzle thing, but there was another, it was, they was, it was still there, but, this, but it was blue now. So it was actually a supply drop stuck on top of another supply drop. There's a yellow supply drop on top of a blue one, and the blue supply drop actually had a crop plot blueprint in it. So I've never had that happen before. I've never had two supply drops stacked on top of each other. It was a yellow one stacked on top of a blue one. Two minutes and 45 seconds. Come on, Wyverns, you're just cramping my style here and waiting for the weight around on you. Anybody else ever seen a double double supply drop before. Like I said, I've never seen that. I've been playing ARC a long time and I've never seen two supply drops stacked on top of one another. You couldn't tell it either. You couldn't tell it was stacked on top of it until I opened the yellow one and it went away. The yellow one went away and then there was a blue one still there. You couldn't tell beforehand that there were two there. So I didn't really think another supply drop could come down until one was gone, but I guess they can. I guess they can actually stack. I guess I can look around here real quick and see if we got any Rex eggs for kibble. I don't think we do. I've got a few female Rexes over through here. Tech Rexes are both males, so I do need to be looking for a high level female Tech Rex if we want to use those at all. We probably never use them though. We got these Super Rexes over here. These go up to 725 is their big daddy there. It's the level 725 Rex. Bronto, are you doing all right? This Bronto has given me a couple of eggs, but it would probably give me more if I'd got a mate for it. Oh no, there's a dire bear out here. Monkey, get out of the way. When did this dire bear spawn in? 50, we've got to kill that. That's going to make a mess. Wyvern, let's go take care of the dire burn, then I've got to get the imprints on these, on these two baby wyverns. This dire burn must have spawned in last night because we had nothing but safe stuff here until now. If you were a good one, I would tame you, but you're not. Now I've got to worry about what will spawn in place of that. That's the main reason I haven't killed that Parasitherium over there. I'm worried what might spawn in place of it. Let's see if these guys are ready for their imprints. One of them will want wyvern milk, shores the world. 10 seconds. 20 seconds. One will want to walk and one will want wyvern milk. And the one wanting wyvern milk will really cause us some trouble. Okay, this one wants a cuddle. That's great. If the other one wants a cuddle, we're in business. Come on. What do you want? Wyvern milk, of course. Walk. Okay, we can do walk. Whistle. Whistle, follow one. Did I get the right one is the question. I'm sure they're stuck together, so it might not be able to walk. Come on. This is the 182 that we hatched. It's got all the best stats so far of any of my wyverns. So we want to imprint it. We'll probably use it at some point. There we go. 100% imprinting. Wyverns just require one imprint on my game. 
whistle stop one. This guy has got 8,200 health and 443 melee damage and 787 stamina and 729 weight. But we're going to head up to the Wyvern Trench now. We're going to see if we can get lucky enough to score us a maybe a fire or electric or maybe even a poison wyvern. So far all we've got is these ice wyverns. We are like want to upgrade and get some uh, more fancy ones. Never had a poison or electric ones before, but I have had fire wyverns and they're pretty good. Maybe get lucky and get us a poison or electric this time around. I haven't, like I said, I've never had either one of those. Might get unlucky and run into an alpha wyvern up here and lose my my good leveled up one here if we're not careful. So we got to be careful up here. Been a little bit risky coming up here with no help. I would normally like to set up some plant species X plants around the wyvern trench so we can have some protection, but I don't think there's any water up here close by. Maybe on the other side of the trench we might be able to set up some. And there's a fellow ARC YouTuber friend of mine who's been using T-Rexes for that purpose. They've been putting their real high level T-Rexes at the entrance. And then when the wyvern chases them, they just run the wyverns into the T-Rexes. May have to try that. Boy, this whole area is not loading in. Stop here a minute and let it load in because I've had this game crash a bunch on me up here in this area. Let's land here see if we can get this level to load in, or this area to load in. Give it a second or two so it doesn't crash on us. There is a wyvern. Is it coming for me? It's a question. We'll probably take that one out if we can. If I can get a level on it. Okay, it is a 116 or a 16. It is a 16 poison, and poison can actually hit me without hitting the wyvern so I can get killed by this guy without a bad way here. Let's see if we can get this guy. We can frost breath him. Oh no, there's another one. This might not be a good thing. Let's see if we can get some distance here because we run ourselves out of stamina we'll be hurting. We can probably lose them on a Bronto or something here. And I'll get my stamina back and maybe we can split them up and make things a lot easier. So I don't think I can handle two wyverns at a time. If that poison wyvern hits me, I will die without even my wyvern, without my wyvern dying. Okay, wyvern, get your stamina back. If we get rid of two of these outside of the trench, it probably means it's two less inside. stamina back. Let's see if we can kill these things. Can't seem to hit it. I think if I could hit it, I could kill it. poison wyvern so I'm afraid to land on the ground and get it to come to me because it'll poison breath me. Okay, I got it. I got the poison one down. It was really low level. Let's see if it had anything in it. There's an alpha carno. Oh, 